Hello, and welcome to Whiskey at Work. We're going to be talking round two Japanese whiskey with Mitch from Vertex. And welcome to another edition of Whiskey at Work. I am Mark, along with Rob, and joining us in the middle today, well, anybody that brings down whiskey automatically gets to be on the show. That was the rule <laughs> when we first started this thing. Uh, it's Mitch McKeithen yes, sir. from Vertex, the manager from Vertex Hotel Alex Johnson, right here in Rapid City. And the reason why we have him down is because we had... One of our sales guys walk in and say, hey, do you know that there's this thing going on with whiskey at the thing? He wasn't super knowledgeable about really what he was talking about. And so once we started to kind of dig into it a little bit and ask around, we found out that we are going to be, uh, the Vertex and Alex Johnson is going to be talking Japanese whiskeys mm -hmm. and making something cool out of it. So this is exciting. Yeah. Uh, you, this is all your idea, too, wasn't it? Yeah. It just so <laughs> happened that you guys are doing a special on Japanese whiskey. So <laughs> all just funny together. how that works out. Really? Uh, it's so not like what? we plan or anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no. They're all sitting in your pants. Uh, so you are the you're the manager down there, uh, or up there, I should say, of Vertex. How long have you been there? So I've been working there for about three years. Okay. Um, but management, only about six months. All right. Um, yeah, I'm just... Uh, just getting in there. I'm feeling comfortable now. We're putting together some events. It's been fun. So like this is... You're, you're not this is screwing around if you've been in management for six months, and this is the second whiskey dinner you put together. You know, right? I've been doing some wine here and there, you know. Yeah? Yeah. Man, you got to please everybody. <laughs> do we, though? People that drink wine, do we really have to please... <laughs> Uh, it's, it's just because show. other people drink more than one thing. Well, that's silly. <laughs> it's yeah. just totally silly. Well, uh, what if so, you run out of one thing? You have to be versatile. <laughs> so why did you why did you pick the this the, the Japanese whiskey and pairings to do, Mitch? Uh, so uh -huh. this got presented to me by um, one of my reps, and I'm a big fan of East Asian culture in general. Um, so I was really excited about this. I haven't really tried too many Japanese whiskeys that I've been a big fan of, but the Shunkashuto. Um, really stood out for me, and it, uh, it's 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 unique. This mm -hmm. is different. This is good. <laughs> now, for you to say that I know. too after yeah. the run we've had has been God. weird. Yeah. Uh, and you are going to, like I said, you're going to pair these up with uh, tastings um, from. Are they all? They're all Japanese based tastings to go with the whiskey, right? Not necessarily Japanese, okay. but East Asian influence. Oh, so, all right. Like one of the pairings we're gonna do is a wagyu beef with gochujang, and gochujang is Korean and wagyu is Japanese. So I mean, we're just doing an East Asian influence. So pairing. then, how how did you decide what the pairings would be with these? Um, you know, we kind of me and my chef got together and kind of tasted and just brainstormed. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a terrible job. You heard you heard about whiskey at work and <laughs> wanted to be a follower. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I always thought I say? my job was kind of unique. <laughs> And then talk to Mitch. Now we drink whiskey and we eat Wagyu beef, you know, just, just to see how it tastes. Then I get my up. chef to yeah. make expensive shit and we, <laughs> yep. Yep. And we take off. And then we try to sell it to people. Uh, so this is going to be <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be open to anybody that's going to kind of like this sort of thing, right? You're yeah. going to yep. put together uh, the whiskeys. And I think there's going to be, walk us through kind of the courses a little bit, Mitch, okay. that are going to go along with this. Yeah, so, um, well, this one we're featuring today is the Shukashuto Haru, which is spring. We're going to do that as an intro whiskey, so that's not going to have a pairing with it. That's kind of going to be everybody's, you know, filling in and uh, tasting this whiskey, kind of talking about it at first, getting introduced. Get um, them drunk on the first one, and, and then that way the rest of it tastes, <laughs> the rest of it tastes okay. Hey, you guys are way <laughs> <laughs> The rest of it's going to be Jack yeah. <laughs> in fancy bottles. Wait a minute. This is delicious. Shut up. <laughs> Exposing you right now. Yeah. Uh, the next one we're going to do is the Shunkashuto, the summer uh, which is Natsu, and so the Shunkashuto line actually has all the seasons. Shunkashuto means four seasons in J Japanese. I was just going to ask. Yep, so right. that is a, a real word. Now, <laughs> we, let, me, let, <laughs> let me stop you right there, too, with these two you just announced. Mm -hmm. Try to get online and find any information you can about these, because yeah. it's I, I, I don't think it exists right now. <laughs> but is that, because, is that just because this is something that's so new? 
it you is, think? Yeah, it is pretty new. And then also, like you guys were talking in the last episode, there's really no regulations yet. Mm-hmm. So Didn't those go into effect yesterday? Like April, 1st. April 1st. April 1st. Yep. Yep. April 1st. So okay. there will be. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I think it's because it's really new. I think they just started hitting the market in 2019 is what I found and just started getting put in barrels in 2014. So this, what I believe. this will be... A, a totally unique experience for people that attend this event then. Absolutely. Something they probably haven't done before. All right, then, after we so, get... So with no information about it, it's actually a Canadian that tastes like scotch? <laughs> no. God, well, no. that's, a, that's what we were talking about is uh, the one... Well, you guys had Centauri last week, so yes. that's, that's not included. But there's a lot of Japanese whiskeys out there that are just worldwide blends. So it is... Canadian and it is American. So explain that to me. I was wondering that you said that earlier. Are they bring it in Canadian whiskey and and blending it with stuff that they make there. Yeah, worldwide. That's how blend. it works. So yeah, some of them don't even have Japanese whiskey in them. They just distill it in Japan. Man, so they're bringing in they're bringing in a mash from wherever and yep. and just distilling it there. They're not they don't have the recipe. Yep. Is that what you're saying? I mean, they have their recipe of what, you know, they brought this much, I don't know, Pendleton and this much of crown or whatever they're doing. <laughs> Some guy's just bringing it in and just dumping it in. <laughs> the, in the it's the infinity bottle. <laughs> that's right, yeah. That's International I, infinity bottle. That's what I picture when I was looking into it. Um, but this one specifically is Japanese-wide, so it's not necessarily f- all from the same distillery, but it's all Japanese whiskey distilled at the Nirasaki distillery. And then what are you going to be pairing that? That's the, that's the second one, the Haru. What's, what's that going to be paired yeah. with? So the, um, actually the Natsu is the one that's going to be paired the summer. Oh, that's, did I, I had those mixed up? I, th- I think you got them backwards. <laughs> oh, I mean, dang it. And misspellings too. Well, it's Jeff. I don't speak Japanese. Uh, yeah. I don't blame you. <laughs> uh, so that the summer is going to be paired with, uh, these seaweed crisp crackers that have some kimchi on them, which again, kimchi is Korean. Um, oh yeah. yeah oh yeah Seaweed you ever watched gonna... mash no i haven't come on how old do you think i am old enough I to watch older mash than you. damn it I never, okay i never watched mash <laughs> you can guess mitch is like mash what the, what the yeah. hell are you guys <laughs> talking about uh all right then what's the third one gonna be third one's this? gonna be um the nika coffee grain which is another one kind of like this which is not super smoky um, and I've heard, I actually haven't tried it yet. I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. And oh, I can't wait. There's actual research online about this one. All right, hold on a second. You said you haven't tried this one, and yet earlier you said you were drinking and pairing things. <laughs> mm-hmm. This one was all research. Uh-huh. Yeah, all right. The coffee grain is pretty popular. You can't be trusted. But... <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that Nika, Nika and Suntory are the two biggest Japanese distilleries. Mm-hmm. They're, they're the two legit distilleries in Japan. So even with this shunka that we'll be drinking uh, at this event uh, is Japanese wide, the Nika is Japanese. I right. Mean, it's right there from that distillery. And that's with the Wagyu beef, correct? Mm-hmm. That'll oh. be the Wagyu beef that has a gochujang crust. Oh, man. Which I was saying earlier is a spicy bean paste um, <laughs> from Korea. <laughs> Then what is the what's the last one that they'll they'll try at this? The last one is the Kamiki Sakura wood. So Sakura is the cherry blossom tree, um, which is the first Japanese whiskey in my knowledge that has ever used the Sakura wood. So that's what it's getting finished in. Um, that one is another kind of smoky, scotchy type, uh, but the Sakura wood does give it some like cherry properties. Um, that one's really nice, and we're doing a uh, miso broth with seaweed salad and uh, dashi sea bass. Oh, <laughs> no? fish. Oh, God. See? Fish. <laughs> I won't be. Can I just, I'll ask for it. Can I have a second Wagyu beef yeah. on that? Instead? I'll eat yours. I'm kind of oh. imagining that's going to happen. <laughs> now, the, the wood that, that this one is, 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 are the barrels made there in Japan, too, with this? Do you know? With sure? this one? or with No, the, with, the, with the Kamiki. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say yes, because Probably. Sakura is uh, specifically for Japan. I don't okay. think Sakura would exist anywhere else in the world. Oh, that's going to be. I could be wrong. Are, I, mean, I wonder if they're finishing it and in, in, yep. starting it in a in a Jack Daniels barrel or whatever. Uh, it starts in, in cedar. 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 Oh, barrel. a cedar yep. barrel. Japanese okay. cedar, actually. So I believe it's all. Oh, nice. Right there. So they're not using second run barrels then. They're uh, at least in this case. Yeah, I mean, sounds uh, like. I guess uh, I'm not sure if they're you know been reused or not. There's a um, lot to learn about Japanese yeah. whiskey. And no one there. willing to teach you. <laughs> it's hard to find the answer. <laughs> uh, anyway, Mitch, when uh, when is this event and how can people get tickets? So this is uh, March 20th, and it's going to be from 530 to 730 uh, at the Vertex Sky Bar, obviously. And you can get tickets by RSVPing um, to either call in to the hotel or uh, call my direct line, which, I mean, I can give out 
at a later time or however you guys want to do that. Sure, we'll, we'll probably put that. We'll just put we'll that just in put the, on the, the post, yeah. yeah, so everybody can see there. Maybe yep. right on the screen too would yeah. be perfect. Or, so you, just, or you could say it if you want to start feeling phone calls. I, <laughs> I don't even know my work number. By I'll tell you that. <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to we'll you, think, folks. We we'll hardly had enough of this to be yeah. forgetting phone numbers right now. <laughs> um, well, this, Mitch, this sounds like a really good time, and you told us too before we got on that. Uh, you're going to try to do this every month up there then, right? That's, that's the Not attempt. just with whiskey. Not just with whiskey. So I'm absolutely going to have a tasting of some sort every month. Okay. Um, this month we actually have two. We have one on March 10th, which is wine. We're not going to get into that. <laughs> no. Um, no, we're not. We're, we're excited about this. Fish. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fish and wine. Cheese. Oh, you know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we like to do tastings. It's kind of a more of a perk for our members than a big moneymaker for us. We just like to have something fun. Uh, that makes the membership worth it. People can get get out and get together and you know taste some stuff they might not normally buy off the liquor shelf or the wine shelf. Is this for members only? It's not members only. We just we advertise it for the members. Um, but if anybody hears about this, like in, in this podcast, or uh, we are doing some other advertising, they can absolutely get it. Okay, thirty five dollars per ticket. That's a that's a great deal. That I mean. Just for 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 tra- tasting this, you know, for the first time, trying this for the first time, I was, again, I've had like three oh. sips of this stuff. Um, it's apparently it's, you can't speak English. Either. It's going to be a pretty unique experience if you've never tried any sort of Japanese whiskey. Not only are you going to get the flavors of a, of a typical bourbon, but you're going to get some of that scotch in there too, and like I said, all being uniquely made in uh, in Japan. So this is this is going to be fun, Mitch. I think it's going to be a good time. This one is worth the price of admission alone. I, you know, I, if you watched the Suntory, one better than the one last week, really. It's kind this of one, this one's this. good. I like it this is. one a lot. It's really good, Mitch. Thanks for coming in and uh, doing this me. with us. And next time we do, uh, you know, whatever bourbon or whiskey tasting you do, we'll have you back. All right, buddy. Yeah, Does that let's sound do good? it. Okay, thanks, right, Mitch. Thanks. Hey, thank you all so much for watching. And again, March twentieth. Uh, RSVP to the Vertex or to the Alex Johnson in downtown Rapid City. Thanks for watching. You didn't want any more of this, did you? Uh, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs>